Okay, do it, do it, do it. Come on, do it. Look at you! Oh, man! Thank you, all you beautiful ladies, and you too, sir. You leave, I'll kill you. <laughs> There's a lot of sirs in here. I know there are. Yeah. I'm just kidding. There's a lot of sirs. A lot of good, good um, guys here. Yeah. Good looking people. I just, get it. Yeah, we don't let the great. ugly ones in. We just keep them out. <laughs> so, uh, hey, did you see that I'm going to send uh, that family to Carmel and Monterey, your neck of the woods? Yes. yes uh, that's Can they like stay at your house? <laughs> um, we don't really have the budget after giving the 10000 We don't really have any money. If they'll take care of the animals, that'll okay. be all right. <laughs> oh, I bet they would. I'd yeah. take care of your animals. You have all kinds of new animals. Yeah, we have got all kinds of things. What are, you, what are your my, new my animals? My wife is the uh, uh, Will Rogers of the animal set. She never met an animal she didn't like and didn't want to take home. That's how I am. That's yeah. how I feel. Yeah. What do you have now? Uh, a desert tortoise that's about the size of this table. Weighs about 80 pounds. Uh, <laughs> So that's he, he kind of goes exactly where he wants to go. Where did you get a tour? I mean, and how old is that? That's an, uh, they live to be like they, 200. They live, uh, well, let's say that I won't be burying him. Uh-huh, right. <laughs> I mean, really, they live to be, and, and where did you get the tortoise? 150, 100, 200 years old. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because they eat lettuce. That's why. That's why. They're healthy. They're vegetarians. Yeah. Yes, they are. No, and, and uh, where did you find a tortoise? Just wandering around? Uh, or did no, you no. Uh, uh, we, there's a lady who raises them up there. Mm -hmm. So uh, she had this one that was eating its way out of the building. So, right. Uh, she decided I should have them. And is that, uh, that parrot just rides around on the tortoise's back? That parrot's been with me for, for 35 years. That's, oh, my that's, oldest, that's my oldest pal. That's fantastic. And she's a... Uh, uh, She's a character, but, you know, she's getting kind of grouchy in her old age. Really? <laughs> Is she really? Yeah. I didn't know bit. that birds did that. Yeah, they get a little uh, grungy, you know. Is she a one-person bird? I had an African gray for a little while that, that was yeah, hard. Yeah, no, somewhat one person, but uh, she, she takes to people. And you have... Not to kids, though. Not to kids? No. Yeah, well, you don't want a kid around it, because they can really take your finger off those, yeah, those beaks. Yeah, or... I noticed that. Yeah. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this is, I was walking because every day I pass your bungalow to, to come to the stage. My office is down the, uh, the road a little bit. And there's this squirrel that I noticed that's very friendly that's always hanging out in front of right. your bungalow. And I found out it's like a pet squirrel. You have a squirrel that comes into your office. Right. Uh, Christina in my office uh, feeds it. Uh, it comes up, eats out of her hand. Look at this. I mean, she's clearly oh, videotaping right yeah, next to it. Is. Yeah. He's coming over. That's so cute. Yeah. yeah. Look at it, grabbing as many as it can. Yeah. He's, uh, he's evidently uh, taking these, uh, stashing them for some bad day. Saving so, it for another yeah, time. Right, right, yeah. And is it, did I hear that you sit outside sometimes and share a sandwich with it? It'll come up next to you? Uh, yeah, he'll come up and sit next. Uh, if you leave something uh, there, a little peanut. That's crazy. I feed the squirrels at my house, but they're not nearly that tame. That's, that's amazing that you have a squirrel that, that's that tame. Well, you've got to work with them a little bit. I will try to Give do that. Give them a break. I will try to do that. <laughs> they probably want to be around you because they know how cool you are. That's why. This, uh, he was just named. This is amazing. Did you know you were named the coolest man in America over President Obama, George Clooney, Justin Timberlake, and the situation? You were cooler than all of those people. I don't know who did this uh, survey, but they're cool. Uh, <laughs> did you know who the, do you know who the situation is? The situation. <laughs> is this a band you're talking about? No, it's a man. That's the situation right there. The situation? That's his name. Yeah. And they say you're cooler than him. Yeah, I'd say it's, I'd agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> I should, have, I should have him here. He would, he would give you a run for your money. But I bet he couldn't hold himself up on, on the chair as long as well, you did. He might be able to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not as long as I can. You're in pretty good shape. Uh, all right. Uh, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back and talk about this beautiful movie that you did hereafter. We'll be back. Yes. And now, taking on this, this movie, was it something that, that you felt, had you ever had a near-death experience? Uh, I've had a couple uh, close calls, but not, not like th this one, where you've actually died for a few minutes and right. then come back. But uh, surprising enough, 
uh, most of the people who have had that happen uh, do report a similar vision that, uh, that we have in this that uh, Cecile de France has in this. Right. Yeah, I've read a few books on that. It does seem like everybody yeah. has the same thing, and yet they say, and you say in the movie, uh, is it just because you hear that that's what you're supposed to see? Yeah, it is. I don't know whether it's uh, psychologically uh, pre-induced in your mind or something that, uh, that gives you that vision, or whether it's just a coincidence, or whether there really is... Uh, some hereafter. Yeah. Well, I'm not in any hurry to find out. No, 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 no. I will, uh, will all know someday. Yeah. Well, you stick around for as long as you can. I adore you. Thank you so much. And the movie is beautiful and, and thought-provoking. And uh, it's called Hereafter. It opens in theaters everywhere this Friday. We'll be back. Clint